I'm Sean Smiley, a producer on the new SSX. It has been a while since uh, SSX has been out, and uh, you know, the idea of bringing back SSX has always been talked about at EA. Uh, SSX is very popular within the company. There's a lot of people who loved working on it, and a lot of people who want to work on it. Uh, development's an odd thing. It's a lot of uh, good ideas, and it takes a little while to get going. Advancements in technology kind of made us suddenly go, ooh, we can do stuff we never could before. Uh, the new PS3, Xbox, that kind of stuff. It's like, okay, this is a good setup for us to start again. So, yeah, there's always been a desire to bring back SSX. It's just taken a little while to, to get going. I think what makes SSX so special and creates like such diehard fans over it um, is just, it's a very feel-good game, very upbeat, uh, and people really, really like the characters. Everybody has their favorite character, um, male or female. Um, plus, I just think it's one of those games that uh, it makes awesome easy for the player. You can pull stuff that makes you feel like an instant superhero. Um, and what we're trying to do to attract new fans is uh, show them that you know, it's a very accessible game, it's a very accessible universe. You don't need to know about all the other games and what happened with the characters and all that. This is sort of a new restart to the franchise, so it's a welcome to everybody kind of thing. There'll be a lot of stuff in there that hardcore fans will be like, oh yeah, I know that from the other games, and a lot of call-outs and a lot of Easter eggs. But it's also the start of something new, and um, the biggest way to say it's the start of something new too is just uh, the name SSX. It's just singular, standalone, and starting all over again. When we released uh, the SSX trailer, SSX Deadly Descents for the VGAs, um, what we realized was that was uh, sort of focusing on survive. And there are three gameplays uh, pillars in this game. Race it, trick it, survive it. That one we kind of expanded on survive it probably just a bit too much without letting people know that, well, there is the other stuff in the game. That's just a part of the game. Um, we did listen to our fans in a big way and went, yeah, that trailer was pretty dark, and we had to reassure our fans the game's not that dark. There's elements in the game where it's stormy and dark and it gets kind of crazy, but the whole game is not that. And I think maybe that was just the wrong message that fans freaked out and went, what have they done to SSX? But when we showed our trailer at E3, it was very bright and beautiful and kind of called out the things SSX has been known for. And yes, we did listen to our fans a lot. So we have a lot of additions to SSX this time around. Um, one big uh, addition is helicopters in the game. Uh, people are going to see that they're not just choppers flying in the distance, there's actually a personality to the pilot and how they interact with you. I think it's going to be uh, pretty exciting for a lot of people. Big addition to SSX <coughs> is the gear. Um, wingsuit is the one that a lot of people have seen. And uh, we did a lot of research into the wingsuit and discovered that what people were doing in real life was actually quite shocking. It was more than what you could do in a video game, so we had to raise our end of like what we were going to do. We also uh, looked at real wingsuits and thought they actually look a bit ridiculous. They're called flying squirrels. So what we did is we designed our own wingsuit, and uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, there's lots of other gear that's going to be coming out in the game, like the ice axe. You've seen that in the trailer a couple of times. You'll be able to use that. And uh, a few other things that are coming. Don't want to reveal them all just yet. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, all the characters will get to use them. So what we do with the tricks is we want to give feedback back to the player in a big way. Um, some of the things that will do that will be um, uh, filling up your trick meter. So jumps, spins, grinds, all complete successfully, build up your trick meter. When your trick meter happens, what we're trying to do is push to the player like there's a huge visual payoff. Uh, the color of the world will change. And all of a sudden you're uh, riding down the uh, mountain, your meter is full, you pull an uber trick, you land, and a shockwave shoots across the world. So what we've done is we've implemented the shockwave spreading out across the snow. What we want to do is take that further and see, we're still working on it, but see if we can cause it to stop an avalanche, start an avalanche, see if we can blow trees down, if we can knock things out of your way. And like any other uh, game, you have a great idea, it takes a while to come up with it, then you implement it, and then you try to figure out how to make it even better, and that, that you know, can be a bit difficult at times. So yeah, we've got that sort of in place now, and we're trying to see where we can push it. Thank you.